So I'm often trying to break everything I believe. I think that's a distinguishing attribute of me. While a lot of people are trying to justify what they believe, they seek out information in people that support them in that. A confirmation bias, confirmation bias, you know, that everything they think is true. Well, of course, you think most people are wrong, and kind of by definition, since people don't all agree with each other at all, most of them are wrong. Maybe everybody. Oh, fucking dog. Who's in the middle of the trail? Which dog did that? Some dog's in big trouble. That's not true, because some dog's already forgotten all about it. But smart dogs learn not to poo in the trail. That's where we walk, not where we poo. Anyway, now that's what I want to talk about. I was thinking about an idea of breaking with my own thought. Because I set up all these rules for myself on how I think things are best done and how they should work, right? And that's cool as we try and discover what are the best ways to be. It's very important. But I think it's just as important to break those apart. So in this case, I was thinking about a guy I know. And uh, I have a ton of plants here, more than I need, everywhere. M most of which are native, 99% or more. And uh, I've got some special plants that seem really cool. And that really grow well here on their own. Some succulents, some medicinal plants, some cool shit. You know, and I want to spread those. And so I've often had this rule in my mind that I can only spread those in early July when the rains come. That we should do cuttings of those, plant them directly in ground. Of course, we've got seeds too, but we'll just go with cuttings for the moment. Seeds are different. And I just passed some back there and I was like thinking, you know, this guy, he's, he's got available dirt, and he has some water, and he's going to make sure he has water, and he has attention, you know, he has a time to, god damn, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here, and, uh, fuck, I just changed my shoelaces, because the other one's broke. They were wussy ass shoelaces. Hopefully these will be better. And uh, so I was thinking about breaking this rule and saying, okay, yes, we know the ideal time to make new plants is to do cuttings direct in ground. We take the piece of the plant at exactly the right time of the year and we dump it into the ground we put it in the ground with rooting hormone or not, and we measure it to the success rate, and everything is really cool. That's a great idea. It's one of my best ideas. It's like no, no pots, no extra work, no thinking, using the natural rain cycle. It's the ultimately best solution. Then I was thinking, well, not everything needs to be absolutely optimal. I mean, I'm always trying to seek that. I'm a utopian weirdo. And, and I was thinking, well, what if this guy did dig up, like, right now I have these plants right there. They're right there. What if he dug up a bunch and just put them where, where they're going to be, and then he, he watered a small patch of them, you know, and then they reproduce by seed the next year or by roots. I don't know how they reproduce, but they're all over the place. I got tons. 
when they're producing flowers and everything. And then all these other succulents and things that are theoretically difficult. And I've got Nopales, Apuncha species of various kinds. And would it really hurt if, if we, in his case, he's got a much smaller space that he's dealing with. And he's, he's not a plant expert, you know, and he knows that. And, and so why not give him pieces of plants? This depends on his schedule and his interest, right? I'm not, you know, trying to make anyone do anything. But uh, as a suggestion, I could give him these, these, these plants and... <coughs> God damn, this is like mosquito hell out here. I know why, too. It's because I have standing water all over the place. Because I don't have people here, so I don't care. And uh, I should care, because these mosquitoes probably have diseases and stuff. Uh, they're not that bad where I live, but it's probably fine. But still, like, mosquitoes are, like, like the worst. Yeah. And the heat of the day is now cooling off. Uh, there's, like, a whole bunch of them. My God, there's like 30. I've had people come here and complain about mosquitoes. And uh, they've never really bothered me that much. But today, they are. Anyway, so this guy could be an experiment if he's up for it. And I could give him a bunch of plants. And we could find out what you can grow out of season. Now, this is a, a case, a weird case, where... I want to do things the wrong way, the suboptimal way. But you know, for other people, there might be cases where the suboptimal time is the best time. Like I know of people who aren't in the area in the time that is the ideal for reproducing plants. Well, maybe they want some. And so I can teach them how to do it in the non-optimal way. And you look at something like, I had this idea the other day, like, you know, what use are kids, you know? What can you teach kids that makes them excited and able to create life and be useful? And I thought germinating seeds might be a great idea. Because it requires attention. And I remember being a kid a little bit. You know, and you want power. You want to be able to create life. Potentially. <laughs> Little Dr. Frankenstein children. I created life! But, uh, you know, you, all you have to do is have reasonable... My God, these mosquitoes are vicious. Oh, that's all my own fault. Hi. What are you doing around here? I haven't seen you in a little while. That's Black Dog. He's got a name. I don't like to say names on video. You don't need to know my name. You don't need to know my dog's name. God, I'm so grumpy. Anyway, but the great activity for kids would be germinating seeds. And of course, having an app that tells them where they can collect free seeds. Because I know of trees that have seeds and, and <coughs> you know, I mean, they can become little experts at it. Because they have the time and the attention they have the attention to detail, while many of the rest of us idiot adults are burned out or busy. I am both mostly burned out. But I think that would be a great activity for, for kids, is, is to be able to, because it's it's relatively short period of time, to, it's, it's the right period of time to teach them how to uh, have delayed gratification, right? Just because you stick a seed in the ground doesn't mean it's magically going to grow for you. And so it's a great case where they could, since seeds are essentially free, okay, most seeds never germinate. They never get a chance. Most of my sperms never make a baby, especially since I have a vasectomy. And so, you know, most seed is wasted. But if we were to give it to kids and give them the equipment, which is really minimal, it requires almost nothing for people and there's hard seeds and easy seeds and we could start them out with easy seeds and then and then get them hyped up to go on to the more difficult hard seeds and they can have a success path 
where they're 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 developing their skills and this has real world application it's not having them like make art for no goddamn reason like here we just want to get rid of you kid go draw some shit for no apparent reason no this is about them being part of the team that will save and reforest the entire world replant the world move species around be part of living seed banks so that we're involving this team of tiny little little seed warriors into getting something useful done while training them that they can be useful that they're not just useless pieces of shit because I think that's how kids are treated a lot of times I slapped these mosquitoes and then there's blood on me they're literally sucking my blood little forest vampires so that's just an additional thought what was my original thought breaking my own beliefs I've done that my entire life it's painful it's uncomfortable and you're proving yourself wrong all the time or not necessarily wrong but that you were limited in your thinking before that'd be a nicer way to say it and anybody that talks to me should try and be somewhat nice because I'm actually pretty sensitive I I don't like dumbasses telling me dumbass shit. So, anyway, there's a couple ideas for you. God, it is beautiful out. This is uh, afternoon, late afternoon. I don't think, I got blood all over my hands. I got mosquitoes in my face. Um... I don't think all of this is because I have standing water here. I think it's because the rains are late this year or they're continuing into lateness. And that's the whole reason. Like if I had, my God, they're eating my legs too. I'm gonna have so many mosquito bites tonight. Um, I think it's because if, if we were to measure the rain pattern and know when it was showing up late, then uh, we could actually predict bad mosquito seasons. And uh, I need to have screened in porches, porches with fire pits, smoke that drives them away, plants that they don't like. And some years are probably just going to be worse than others. The nice thing is that we have rain, and that's what matters. I'm like murdered like. 30 mosquitoes. I don't even feel bad about it. I do feel a little bit bad when I kill a rabbit or something. Because they're so cute and I raised them and I'm going to eat them. But fuck these little robot mosquito drones. Flying evil. <laughs> it's all just funny. Why am I going to town? Because I haven't walked yesterday. i got to walk. Maybe I shouldn't walk this time of the evening. I was thinking it would be all comfortable and nice. But these mosquitoes are the worst I've ever experienced them. I mean, normally mosquitoes don't even like me. I'm a toxic person. Mosquitoes don't like me. I had a guest here a long time ago, and she was very, very... Uh, sweet to mosquitoes. I liked her. Poor, poor lady. She made a whole video about how annoying they were. And normally they're not annoying at all. Now it will help to get rid of the uh, standing water, certainly. Um, because I have some. I have buckets where rain poured in it and then I didn't notice it. And, and that happens. But uh, right now, I think that there's just so much moisture everywhere. Because they're here, and I'm not anywhere close to standing water. There's no standing water anywhere near where I'm at. I don't know how far mosquitoes go, but... I mean, considering that they're everywhere, that means that every morning they're reproducing in, like, the dew or something that falls into a plant or something. 
All right, well, I gotta keep walking. What was that, a bee? Some big bug just hit me. This is really annoying. One of the reasons I live here is because there's almost no annoying bugs. Although at the moment, that's not the case. Goodbye. See you later. Good luck to you.